Hey everybody, we're Keaton Handicapping Thoroughbred Racing from beautiful Belmont Park, Elmont, New York on Saturday, May the 10th. This is my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast Racing Report. Let's go to beautiful Belmont Park first for their featured race 9, 5.28 p.m. Eastern Post Times at the Peter Pan Stakes. 9 furlong root test on the dirt, grade 2, 3 year olds, race for $200,000. Contenders number four, Tunnelist, number six, Art Caravan, number three, Commissioner, and number one, Matterhorn. Well, folks, the Peter Pan, the final graded stakes in New York for three-year-olds prior to the Belmont Stakes, is not named after the Disney character with the same name, but after the horse, owned by James R. Keene and trained by James Rowe who was obviously named for the Disney character. Peter Pan won the 1907 Belmont, was leading three-year-old money winner with earnings of $86,790 that year. Here in the 60th renewal of this graded stakes test, number four, Tunnelist, the overall speed and pace profile leader in the stakes field, racing a nine for alongs on the dirt, has hit the board in power run fashion in two of his three career starts to date, including a power run win to break his maiden in second race back. Number six, our caravan, five to one in the morning line, qualifies as a trackmaster plus power pony, broke his maiden in his first asking, comes off the power run win in his last start, which is just the fourth race of his young career to date. Race nine summary, number four, tunnelist, tops the contenders list today here at Belmont, which also includes number six, our caravan, number three, commissioner, and number one, Matterhorn, four, six, three, one in the ninth from Belmont, the $200,000. Peter Pan Stakes. Go to Pimlico next for race three in the card, 206 p.m. Eastern Post Time, eight and a half for on route test on the turf. Phillies and mares, three years old, an up race for a star allowance prize of some $25,000. Contenders number nine, Artie's Party, number five, Marilyn Mystique, number one, Eileen Starr, and number two, Bonatini. Number nine, Artie's Party is produced a Quartet of Power Run wins in her last five outings, takes a class drop of 12 units. Her recent past performance sheet show a Power Run win facing better company in her second race back. Number two, Marilyn Mystique, the morning line favorite, comes off a Power Run win in her last start. Race three, summary number nine, Ari's Party, tops the contenders list today here at Pimlico, which also includes number five, Marilyn Mystique, number one, Eileen Starr, and number two, Bonatini, 9542, and the third from Pimlico. But at Churchill Downs next for race number nine, their feature, 4.40 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is the unbridled Sydney Stakes, five for a long sprint on the turf. Phillies and mares, three years old, an up race for a stakes prize of some $65,000. Contenders number five, to my Valentine, number three, Point to the Wild, number seven, Sweet Cassiopeia, number one, Saturday in the Park. Number five to my Valentine, a French bread entry, has hit the board in power and fashion in four of her last five outings, winning both in her second and fourth races back, which of course is indicative, folks, of a bounce pattern. The bounce will be up positive this afternoon if this pattern continues. Number three, point to the wild, a four to one shot, the pace profile leader in his stakes field, sprinting at her about today's distance of five furlongs on the grass. Set the board in four of her last five adventures, including back to back power run wins in her second and third races back. Race nine summary, number five, to my Valentine, tops the contenders list today here at Churchill, which also includes number three, point to the wild, number seven, sweet Cassiopeia, number one, Saturday in the park, five, three, seven, one, in the ninth from Churchill to $65,000. Unbridled Sydney Stakes. Bonus long shots, Evangeline Downs, race six, the eight to one shot, number four, Ronson, drops in class by six units. The overall speed leader in this starter optional claiming field, sprinting at or about today's distance of five furlongs on the dirt. <clears throat> Finger Lakes, race three, the four to one shot. Number three, Dixieland Star, the overall speed leader in this field, sprinting at or about today's distance of five furlongs on the dirt. So handicapping from Belmont, Pimlico, and Churchill on a Saturday afternoon. Rick Needham from the Equibase Winter Circle reminding you as always to please bet with your head and not over it.